Hey everybody, it's Pastor Damon here. I'm sitting here thinking about all the news that we were hit with in 2020. And uh, as you many of you know, many times that news came with feelings of despair and helplessness and all these different emotions. And it's hard for me not to think of the news that we were hit with and not also think about J. Iris and the news that he was hit with in chapter eight of the book of Luke. And for many of you, I'm sure you know the story, you know, J. Iris is walking with Jesus en route to his house for, with the expectation that Jesus would heal his sick daughter. But before they can get there, someone comes across their path and lets them know that J. Iris' daughter had passed away. And I can only imagine the million and one thoughts that J. Iris was having in his mind, all the emotions that probably went rushing through his mind. But Jesus interrupted every one of them with these words. He said, fear not, only believe. Refuse to throw in the towel. Fear not, only believe. Listen to those words, they're powerful. Fear not, only believe. And as powerful as those words are in and of themselves, I think what gives that moment even more weight was when they were said. Because J. Iris was just with Jesus when Jesus told the woman that he healed of the, the issue of blood. He told that woman that it was your faith that had made you whole. And now Jesus is essentially giving J. Iris the same advice. He's telling the same thing I said to her is now what I'm saying to you. It is your faith that has the power to turn this situation around. So guess what? Fear not, only believe. Cower not, only believe. Hate not, only believe. Quit not, only believe. And J. Iris grabbed a hold to those words and we know that his, his daughter was healed. And I believe that we should grab a hold to those words when news come in our direction. If there is anything that is going to turn this news around, if there is anything that's going to change your situation around, it's going to be your faith. Hold on to it. Don't let the world rob it from you. Don't let Satan rob it from you. Don't let your friends and family rob it from you. Fear not, only believe. Look, I'm telling you, that has encouraged me so much today. I pray that it's encouraged you as well and that you carry it in your heart the remainder of this week, week and maybe even the remainder of your life. And so this is Pastor Damon of Collective Community Church. I hope to see you soon. God bless you guys.